just a nice eclipse day. And it was so nice outside yesterday, Rob, that my grandmother afterwards, she was like, I think I'm just going to stay out here in the yard. Absolutely. Yeah, it was a perfect not? day to be outdoors. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to have a pretty okay one today, too. It's going to get a little bit more cloudy, and we may start to feel just a little bit of that humidity. A lot of us are starting near 60. We'll probably see daytime highs that try to get to 80, may fall a little bit short because of the clouds. And then overnight tonight, We'll keep those temperatures up a little bit. We'll keep the moisture up a little bit, and that will lead to more clouds as we get ready for that next chance to get wet, which likely comes to our area tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. I see a bunch of clouds to the north. I even see some showers farther to the north, but all that is staying off to our north, and it's moving more north as it moves east, so it doesn't look like it's coming here. We're at 59 in Thomasville. We're at 60 in Tallahassee. We're at 61 in Valdosta. There is a little bit of a breeze out there trying to stir things up, and as we add more moisture to the air. We start to look for some more patchy fog all around the area. Most of the temperatures between like 57 and like 62, a little warmer at Camilla 64 or Blakely at 63 or Apalachicola where it's 68. That breeze today southeast and south that'll bring in that warmer and it'll bring in that more humid and it'll be noticeable, but nothing that we're going to call windy or anything like that. So far so good with the visibilities for the most part all up near 10 miles, maybe a little bit lower in Quincy or in Dothan where they're like at five and six miles are doing just fine. This energy here is moving north. That's where the best rain chances are going to be. So that's all up like Birmingham, Atlanta and moving up into the Tennessee Valley. Get a little further west. There's more energy that's going to be developing and that's what will be dragging a boundary across the Gulf Coast. That's what brings us our chances to get those showers and storms and it does feel like it's all speeding up a little tiny bit. Now on the other side of that, it's cooler, drier air should be a really nice forecast. Got to get through these showers and storms first. And the future cast wants to start bringing to our area 6, 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow night instead of waiting until 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock Thursday morning. So it's a little shift into speeding things up. We'll see if the computers keep doing that. Usually when they start locking on to something like that, that trend continues. So the faster, the sooner, maybe we can avoid some of those bigger storms. But I think we can get a pretty good blast of rain here. And the threat for a couple of dangerous storms is going to be part of this deal too. Now by early Thursday morning, this starts moving east and hopefully clears out to clear up for what should be a really nice run of weather that at least starts Friday may even get in here for Thursday afternoon. The SPC puts out these outlooks for where we could see some dangerous weather when we start getting to the yellow shading. Now we're like at a 50 50 where some of those bigger storms are possible and this yellow shading is for the western half of our area and that's going to go for tomorrow night into Thursday morning. Get a little farther to the west across the Apalachicola River. We get to that brown shading. That's the enhanced risk area. That's where we start to expect the dangerous storms. So we're going to be hearing about dangerous storms in spots. We'll have to see if those spots include our area. We still got a day and a half or so to fine tune all that for you. So keep checking in with us on the Gulf today. East and southeast winds 10 to 20 seas up to about four or five feet. It's going to get more breezy out there on the Gulf too with that next energy getting its act together. 50s and 60s this morning. The clouds really start to take over. I think later today and tonight 80 might just be out of reach, but I think we've got a chance to get there tonight. We'll keep it back in the low 60s to upper 50s. And here's that seven day forecast where I do think we've got a real good shot to get wet Wednesday night and Thursday morning. And then I think I see a really nice run of weather again for the upcoming weekend.